。继续关注国际机构看两会。今年的政府工作报告指出，我国宏观政策有空间、有手段，要强化跨周期和逆周期调节，为经济平稳运行提供有力支撑。对此，世界银行中国局局长瑞泽接受财经频道专访的时候表示，积极稳健的宏观政策，尤其是财政政策适度发力，能够进一步提振中国经济今年的增长势头。The headline deficit is actually a little lower uh, planned for 2022 than in 21, but there are additional funds in the government fund budget, so the money goes in going to infrastructure investment, and there is additional money also um, provided in intergovernmental transfers. So there is a little bit more money in going in that direction. And then on the other hand, on the revenue side, you see a lot of tax breaks, uh, and we have argued that putting more money into directly into people's pockets might be a good way also to encourage more consumption, to encourage uh, uh, greater economic activity. So just giving it to enterprises, hoping that they will then invest, create jobs, pay salaries, and then those salaries are spent is a bit of a roundabout way to get to the same objective. Nonetheless, on the whole, we see additional fiscal spending, and that will support growth this year. 此外，瑞泽称赞中国在去年消除绝对贫困是一项了不起的成就。他介绍说，未来世界银行将把此前在中国实验成功的扶贫办法和经验带到更多振兴乡村的合作项目中，以增强脱贫地区自我发展能力。瑞泽尤其关注政府工作报告和今年的中央一号文件里多次提及的要推进农业农村绿色发展的工作要求。In the number one document that the government issued, um, there is a specific emphasis on greening agriculture as part of the rural revitalization program. Uh, you know, food security is an important objective, but this can no longer be achieved at the expense of you know environmental pollution because over the long run the excessive use of fertilizer uh, the poor management of water resources is going to make the ability of china to produce the necessary food stuff is going to constrain that ability and so the greening is also an element of if you will of stability and resilience